Hello, my dear friend. Welcome to Word Nuggets. India is going through such a hard time with COVID. Um, people are going through so much struggles. It's very heartbreaking. With the minimal information that I get, um, I can tell you that it's quite scary. Many times it seems hopeless. It's hard. And especially if it affects your family or you, it's a very different situation. Um, and, and people get scared. It's quite natural and human to be um, scared regarding these situations. It's a very heartbreaking situation that's happening now in India and I'm in no way trying to minimize the situation but what hope do I have when what hope do we have when we face such situations? Is there any hope? How can we overcome fear? Uh, what is there to hold on to when the whole world is going through such a pandemic and terrible situations and uh, many people doesn't have the luxury of keeping even six feet, apart, six feet apart, but many people have to live in crowded uh, conditions and situations. And where is, where, where, where is hope? You know, what can we find hope in? And when we get scared, what is what can comfort us? What can really, truly give us hope? The Bible is the only place where I can find hope. The Bible is the only place where I can run to, when I face uh, or when we face such terrible situations. The true hope, the true help comes from the Lord. And we have to search into the Bible to what God says. There is a situation when um, in Egypt, when Israelites were taken from Egypt during the time of Moses, that God said that the spirit of death would pass by, uh, pass through the streets. And the people, uh, the, the firstborn would be killed. That was, that was, um, that was upon a judgment that God was sending. But then God said, there is the protection in the midst of that judgment there was a protection available and uh, when God told through Moses to the Israelites to kill a lamb this is in Exodus chapter 12 verse um, 21 and God tells uh, instructs Moses to take a lamb the Israelites to take a lamb according to their families and that was the Passover and kill the Passover so the spirit of death would pass through um, the streets and through 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 Egypt uh, and um, in order to get protected from the spirit of death, Moses was instructed to kill this lamb, or the Israelites were instructed to kill the lamb and to take a bunch of hyssop, which is like a wild shrub, and uh, dip it in the blood and strike the lintel and the two side posts with the blood of the lamb, the killed lamb. And then they were told not to go out of the house until the morning. So the Lord allowed the spirit of death to pass through uh, to, to kill uh, the Egyptians, but when he sees the lamp upon the lintel and on the door to the side post, the Lord will pass over and the destroyer will not come into your house to smite you. This was the Lord's instruction to put the blood of the lamp on the side post and on the uh, on the lintel and the side post of the house. So this was the protection that um, Israelites had, even if he was an Israelite and he did not strike this doorpost with the blood of the lamp, then the spirit of death would touch that family. So they, it was important that the blood is what kept the destroyer away. And many years later, God sent his own son, Jesus Christ, and he is the lamp. He, Jesus Christ is the lamp the pure lamb of God with no sin, who died for our sins, for, this, um, for the sins of the sinners. He didn't die for just Christians, he didn't die for good people, but he died for all humanity. And he shed his blood. You would think, you know, it was cruel to kill a lamb and put the blood on the doorpost, but think about God letting his son die, who was uh, the, the lamb that had no sin, to die for the sins of the sinners. So this blood represents the blood of the Lamb, the blood of Jesus Christ uh, is our protection. We have to cover our household with the blood of Jesus Christ. We have to ask God, we have to plead the blood of Jesus Christ over our family to be protected from the destroyer. Moses, probably after this incident, wrote, um, probably Moses wrote Psalms 91 where he says uh, that, it says, talks about God's protection. And what does uh, it say? It says about, um, you shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day. So important that we be not afraid. We should not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. 
is thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand we are seeing it right now these days we're seeing a thousand falling at our side and ten thousand at our right hand but the word of god says it shall not come near you only with your eyes you shall behold and see the reward of the wicked because thou hast made the lord which is your refuge which is my refuge even the most high your habitation there shall no evil before thee neither shall any plague come near your dwelling we have to proclaim it no covid plague shall come near my dwelling no covid plague shall come near my dwelling this is the protection this is the hope that we have putting the blood of jesus christ playing the playing the blood of jesus christ upon our families and covering our families with the blood of jesus christ and as the verse says in Psalms 91, not to be afraid, you shall not be afraid for the terror of the night. When fear comes in, it cripples our heart, it, um, it, it, it cripples our body, it makes it more, um, uh, Im less immune to any kind of disease when we have fear. So it is to reject the fear. And, and as I said, it's human to have fear. It's natural to have fear. But when fear comes, we have to stand on the word of God and reject the fear and proclaim the word of God and proclaim the protection of Jesus Christ, the blood of the Lamb upon our families. We have to stand up and um, resist this COVID uh, in, from, into our households. We have to stand and resist. We have to speak the word of God. We have to believe the protection that God has given us. Once fear creeps in, our faith shakes, and the, 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 the disease of the enemy can come into our house. So we have to stand against fear. We have to stand against this disease and we have to hold on to the promises of God. This is the only hope that I have found these days, this past year, when COVID was rampant in our society. We have to stand up and stand against this disease and believe, even if it affects us, do not fear, stand against it, proclaim the word of God. But ultimately our hope, ultimately, our hope is in our Lord Jesus Christ. Even we don't fear death. We cannot fear death because Jesus even uh, is even victorious over death as well. So our hope is to meet the Lord. So let us hold on to this promise with absolute confidence and speak this word every day morning, noon and night, just like we take a medicine. We have to speak this word against this disease and this pandemic. Let us stand in faith. Let us speak against this disease. May God bless you with this verse. Do not forget to subscribe um, and click on the bell icon. May God bless you.